Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you how you can fix gimbal lock. As you can see here, I have a spaceship that it can fly around, rotate on any axis, and do all kinds of crazy things, and it never locks up. And I was able to do this with a little bit of C++, which I will show you guys how to do that. It's just copy and paste. And everything else is done in blueprints. And I just thought this would be something nice to share with you guys. So I hope you like it. And let's get started. Okay, we're going to hop into a different project. I'm going to hit play. And as you guys can see, this is the default flying template for Unreal. And as we go straight up towards the sun here, you see we get this weird spinning effect. This is gimbal lock. We can actually make a full 360 degree turn right here. So we're going to go back down towards the land. And this is what we're going to be fixing in this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need to do, just for some clarity, I'm going to open up the project settings. And I'm going to go to input. And I'm going to look at the axis mappings. And instead of saying move up, we're going to call this pitch, because that's what pitch is looking up and down. And instead of move right, we're going to call this yaw. And then we're going to add an axis map. And we're going to call this roll. And just so it doesn't get confused with other buttons, because they've assigned a lot of um, keyboard buttons and things to these already, I'm just going to make roll be the C on the keyboard can find it and we will have add another one here and we're just going to make this the V key so for the C we'll have this be negative one and the V will leave at positive one and that's all we need to do in the project settings then we're going to come here into the blueprints I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a custom controller. So click on player controller. I'll call this flight controller. And then we're going to double click on our game mode. And I'm going to make sure it uses our flight controller instead of the player controller here. So go to flight controller. We can compile and save this. We'll go into the flying pawn. And what I'm going to do in here is just so things don't get confusing, I'm going to delete all of this information here. We don't need any of this stuff. And that's all the default uh, flying controls. So I just got rid of them so they don't get confused with our um, new controller that we're going to be creating. And just so you guys know, I'm going to change this spring arm length to be something like 500. And we will enable lag. So this does work with a spring arm and lag enabled. <clears throat> OK. We're going to right click in the content browser. And we're going to go to new C++ class. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom, blueprint function library. And we'll click next. And we will give this whatever name we want. Flight Quaternions. You guys can call it anything. And we'll hit Create Class. And then we're going to give this a minute to compile and load up Visual Studio. OK, and now that that's done compiling, we're going to start doing a little bit of C++. But as promised, this is just going to be copy-paste. So we're going to head into the .h header file right here. And we are going to take everything above this dashed line, Control-C. You guys will be able to find the link to this code in the description. And we're just going to paste this anywhere you want in between generated body and this last curly brace here. So hit Control-V. Then we're going to go into the .cpp file up here. 
and we're going to take everything below this dashed line, control C, and we're going to paste that anywhere you want in here. And the last thing we need to do, we're going to go back into the .h file. And I just want you guys to copy this part that says U flight quaternions. This is going to be whatever you guys named your particular function. Control C. And then you go back into the .cpp file. And we'll start at the top. And anywhere you guys see U, my function name, if you double click that, hit Control V, it will rename it to U flight quaternions or whatever your name is. So you need to find all the places that it says that. And I believe there are seven of them. So anywhere you see a void, you should see that U my function name. Control V, Control V, all the way down the line here. And then you're going to come over here and right click this thing that says Flying Tutorial. It'll be the name of whatever your project is. And we'll hit Rebuild. And then we're going to give this a little bit, and it's going to compile. Okay guys, and now that that's done, you should see one succeeded down here. If it says one failed, you might have forgotten to rename one of these or you accidentally deleted a curly brace or something. So just go back and double check and make sure everything is uh, correct. And now we're going to hop back into our project. And we're going to go into our flight controller. We'll go to the event graph. And the first thing we're going to do is get a reference to our player character. So we'll say cast to flying pawn. And we'll drag out of here and say get player pawn. And we can right click on this output pin, promote it to a variable called player reference. And now we're going to come down here and we're going to get our input axis maps. So we'll get yaw, and we'll get input roll, and the last one is input pitch. And now that we have these three, we're then going to get some of our new functions. So if you search for quat, you guys will see these seven functions that now come up. So we're going to need to get this boiler to quaternion. And we'll select this, Control C, Control V, Control V. You're going to need three of them. And you can right click here and break this struct pin for all of them. And what we're going to do to make, and that's why I renamed this to make it really simple for you guys. So you see it says roll. We're going to plug this right into roll. For pitch, we're going to plug it into pitch. And for yaw, we will plug it into yaw here. And now we're going to grab our player reference, say git. And what we're going to look for is add local quat. There we go. Add actor local rotation quaternion. And we'll do control C, control V. We will need three of these. And we are just going to hook our player reference up to each one of these. And then hook these pins up. And we will compile and save. And you guys have just fixed gimbal lock. So now minimize. We'll hit play. And as you guys can see, we can now rotate in 360 degrees all the way around. We can roll. We can do all kinds of weird movements now. And there's no issue. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys, if we right click here and type in quat, um, the other three that I didn't tell you about, setting world rotation, relative rotation. Um, so I just added these in. There's one for an actor, and there's ones for um, components, scene components. So 
that's what the other functions are that we didn't use. And you guys can use them for whatever you find the need for. All right. I hope you guys thought that was helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for more tutorials. All right. See you guys later.